This is the Morning Swim Show for Wednesday, August 31st, 2011. I'm your host, Peter Bush, in the Phoenix Monitor today. We'll talk to Rachel Stratton Mills. She's the head coach of Asphalt Green Unified Aquatics in New York City. She also coaches Leah Neal, who's a name swim fans should get used to hearing. Rachel joins us right now in the Phoenix Monitor from Manhattan. Hey, Rachel, welcome to the Morning Swim Show. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Well, first let me ask, since it's topical in the news, how is everybody doing after Irene? You know, it was, to be honest, where we were, it was a little bit of a disappointment. We got all ready to go, got our supplies, and it, it barely even hit our neighborhood. So um, <clears throat> we have a lot of family in Maryland, and they got a little, hit a little harder, but we, were, we didn't have much of anything here. Well, don't be disappointed. <laughs> be thankful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Coach, you guys have a very interesting team there. It's been years since we've had a club team in New York City to really talk about, but uh, you're definitely gaining some traction with what you're doing there at Asphalt Green. Yeah, it is, uh, it's a unique environment. I've been there a year now, and, and coming in, there's a lot of challenges that you wouldn't experience anywhere else. And so uh, in this big city and, and their challenges with school and traffic and all their, all their outside activities and, and continuing to push them to be, you know, some of the top kids in the country is, is definitely interesting. You know, I'm glad we had you on because just this past weekend, my dad was here in Phoenix and, and I asked him, I said, every single Olympic year, there's a swimmer that comes out of seemingly nowhere, a young teen who nobody's really heard of until then that makes the team. And he said that name this time could be Leah Neal. What do you think? That's that's great to hear. I mean, she is. Uh, uh, this summer was was really good. She she's um, obviously very talented. She's been you know in, in the rankings as age group swimmer all these years. And and this year we just really worked on on doing some things to help her jump to that next level. And she's been you know in that range of on the youth team and and doing a good job and trying to make some big jumps this year so that's that she can be there next year and, and continue on that path. I mean she's going 54-9 now in the 100 freestyle. Anytime yep. you're breaking 55 you are in the conversation for the Olympic team. Does, do you think she has the confidence to make it? Yeah and you know it is something that's always been on her mind and, and I like I said with this year is trying to get her to take that ownership. I'm I'm really big on our athletes having ownership of their own swimming and not just doing it because this is what I've always done, really having that internal drive. And, and I saw some amazing things out of her this summer, just in terms of leadership and, and her being excited about her races and excited about coming back to training. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty excited for next season. I know NBC's cheering for her. I mean, what a great <laughs> storyline she would be. Absolutely. You know, young African-American sprinter from New York City, the biggest TV market in the country. I'm sure they would love to have her on that team. Well, and she's a really nice young lady also, and that's, o that's always nice. She's, a, she's just got a great heart. She's a good person. She's great with her teammates and, and uh, just enjoys being around her friends, and so that always makes it fun too. What's she like to train? Uh, she's a sprinter, so you know she's going to have her moments <laughs> where she wants to sit on the wall and um, and and wants to uh, go out and go to the bathroom and maybe come a little late to practice. So it's it's um, you know you have that a little bit, but when it's time to get down to work, she does a, a great job. And we've done some we did more sets. I had her doing sets towards the middle and end of the year long course that were specifically getting ready for the two hundred free and she just she just does some amazing things and uh, it's it's one of those you don't even know what to ask of her because someday she'll just just blow your mind on what she's actually how she's performing in practice so um, when it when it comes down to time to get to work she does a good job now beyond Leah I hear there's tremendous diversity on the team absolutely um, we I, I don't think you have a more diverse anywhere in the country um, you know we have probably 50% if we're just talking about our top senior groups probably 50% don't speak English at home as a first language um, and and then you have economic diversity and, and racial diversity and uh, it's and they all they all get along I've such such great team chemistry and they have a good time together and it's a it's a fun group to work with probably takes a special coach to make all that work well I, I think there's a lot you have to put into understanding everyone's differences. There are cultural differences. There are differences in how you communicate with the parents. 
there's differences and, and you have to understand that we, I can't make everyone fit into one mold and and I think it's just trying to find a way to get everyone to work hard but yet understand that they're all gonna handle things a little differently and, and have um, just a different attitude towards certain things you were on the uh, the trip to Peru as well the world junior team mm hmm probably a great experience for you yeah it was it was a lot of fun it was a great group of kids to work with um, I personally love the city of Peru and, and they did a great job hosting that meet um, <clears throat> but it, it was it was an outstanding experience and one of the big things was seeing Leah she was team captain and it was nice to see her step up and take that leadership role which again as I said earlier I think is really important to have that sense of ownership of your swimming um, and, and to kind of see her excited about it and take that leadership role was a lot of fun. Impressive to see USA Swimming's farm system, if you will, right now, because there's going to be a tremendous need for it after next year when a lot of the longtime superstars retire, that, uh, that there's a next generation ready to step up. Yeah, and I, you know, I, I have to say I felt very supported of that whole trip, and I think all the coaches who were there and the athletes who were there, there and really feeling like you know USA Swimming is saying hey th this is our next generation and we want to do anything we can to to help them step up and, and get to where they want to be so that was really nice uh, before we leave I want to ask because the 10th anniversary of 9-11 is coming up were you living in New York City at that time <laughs> I wasn't but you know being here now um, we have a lot to it, it's it's everywhere and actually we have an extensive scholarship program at our facility and uh, Leah Neal is one who benefits from it. And as I said, we have a lot of economic diversity. So we have a quite a big group, especially in my national group, that are on this scholarship. And it was all started because two asphalt green um, master swimmers um, lost their lives in 9-11. And, and this scholarship was started in their honor. So it is a big part of our facility and our program. We have a meet that honors them at the beginning of the year. And we, we do something every year for that. I did not know that. That's a great story. Yeah, and it's it's great for the kids. I mean, not only and and their families are so happy that there's some their their lives are being dedicated to helping more more young swimmers love the sport and be able to do it. So it's it's great. Very neat. Thank you for sharing that. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on a very successful summer, and it's going to be a lot of fun to watch you guys over this next year. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, Rachel. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Have a great day. All right. That's Rachel Stratton Mills joining us in the Phoenix Monitor from New York City. That's it for today's show. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.